So one day I got home and I found a, a mail from Colombia. Uh, when I opened it, uh, there was a letter. It says, congratulations, got admitted. I told this news to my mom. She was cooking in the kitchen. We hugged a little bit for a while and she even cried. My name is Yu Shen Liu. Uh, my Chinese name is Liu Yu Shen. I'm 18 years old. I graduated from Fort Hammond High School in Brooklyn. I moved to the United States two years ago from Guangdong, a province in the southern part of China. Now I'm, I'm going to attend Columbia University this fall with a full ride. When I was in the kind of middle year of my high school career, I got that opportunity to go to America with my family. It's a bit hard for me to make that decision because uh, you know I was in the middle. I, I was uh, preparing very hard for the college entrance exam in China. But I felt like it's a great opportunity for me to experience different things, to like make my world broader. So I decided to go to America with my family. America seems like a very open-minded country. Hello. It has uh, lots of racial groups, lots of different religious beliefs, and they blend together, like uh, forming a very interesting landscape. So I felt like um, it's a big challenge for me to get involved with my community. I miss my grandmothers and my relatives in China. I form a very heartly relationship with my friends, my families. That way I feel like I was heartily still connected to China. And also there are the traditional Chinese culture is still like a very attractive uh, part of me because I feel like I grew up in that environment I feel like it's my root so I will keep that root in my mind Parents or teachers, like uh, back in China, here they couldn't resume their positions, so they have to like work part-time jobs sometimes. There are stereotypes about Chinese parents; they uh, focus on their children's academics. But I feel like they, uh, for my parents, in my case, they are they also care about my uh, social life, care about my mental well-being. They give me the room to um, experience new things. Like uh, when I go to different activities, like I go to CCF, they think that oh, it's worth it. You can uh, help other people like, by being into this program. Hey, you share. Oh, <laughs> I think like my um, experience in CCF in Asian American Student Advocacy Project is that. Uh, helped me a lot in like uh, applying for uh, colleges. Yeah, from the shop, yeah. I got to talk to city agencies, talk to like DOE officials, and through that way, we want to make sure like the, um, the students' um, concerns is addressed. No one get into right? Like, no one. Some of them did. I called some of them and talked to them. Do you see? That's me. Yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt. When I first got here, I kind of felt like, oh, it's a bit uh, challenging for me to communicate with, uh, communicate in English with other people. When I pronounce the words, it may not uh, uh, be pronounced that uh, properly, or like people couldn't like understand you, understand you right away. Uh, I think for the first couple of months, I kind of felt like uh, distressed. When they uh, asked me, oh, do you want to go to tutoring, like? Uh, uh, or to go to other like um, get other support like so I feel like um oh, it costs big bucks so I, I feel like I can do it myself so I try to find a way to self study for the SAT for the ACD I borrow books from, from my friends because uh, they took uh, SAT already so I did end up uh, getting a pretty good score on the SAT and I think that uh, really give me like uh, an edge for me to apply to Columbia.
challenge, challenges are not like that intimidating. Like, um, the language barrier, the um, other barriers that you may encounter in your life, um, they are challenging, but they are not the one that made you down. Do you have that mindset of beating the odds of life? If you want to promote some cause, just do it. Don't give up. You can finally get what you want. Yeah.